A Jump Total War here, and this is number three of the Save Your Disaster campaigns for a Total War game. So today we're on to Stainless Steel 6.4, and we've been given a doozy. So this is the late campaign, 47 turns in, playing as the Khwarezmian Empire, and which I ask, where the fuck is it? Well, it's here, and here. Now the thing is with this, is while the Empire is basically destroyed, um, I would not say that the campaign is in danger of imminent defeat. Uh, it's definitely in a total fucked position. Now another problem is that I really don't want to spend more than like one episode really um, trying to save the campaign. So I'm going to do the most I can in the, in one hour. Uh, sorry, no, one and a half to two hours. And send it back there. Hopefully he can deal with it from there. But basically if, you, if he's expecting me to... To defeat the Mongol Empire. Look, my job here is not to save, is not to win the campaign for you, just to save you from utter annihilation. So let's have a look here. This is this is fucked. Okay, everyone hates you. You're allied with the Byzantines, or well, whatever. Okay. All right, what have we got to work with this turn? High taxes, drop that. Um. Oh my god. Okay, so we're in financial fucking ruin here. Is this the capital? Okay, here. Yeah. No boats. My eyes are yours. All right, I gotta know where what, what we do have. So we got at least that's making some money. My eyes are yours. Talk about fucked. I mean, how I handled um, dealing with the Mongols with late campaign is forts. You just they're just not very good at dealing with forts. Um, in all honesty, these spies consume money. I'm just gonna try and get him killed. From the shadows. <laughs> try and fucking get him killed. Well. Because one thing I don't think the Mongols are gonna do is send a fleet down here and actually attack us. The AI doesn't really prioritize that too much. I think they're most likely gonna. Yeah, they're gonna take on the Turks now. They probably don't even consider us really a threat at this point here. The AI is not really very good at finishing the job. Sultan. And so we'll take advantage of that and not not concern ourselves too much with it. Uh, this guy here, I reckon, man, that's a lot of authority, but nothing else. He's forty-five years old. <sighs> okay, um, I think we'll take him. Yeah, we, we won't be able to afford any troops next turn. We got to take this region here. This is sort of like the previous episode where it's a fragmented empire. Uh, if you've got that coming in, maybe uh, keep it on low tax, uh, no normal taxes there. Orders. there will be much order I think I think this army out here. I'm just going to get it to try and loot, pillage, burn as much as I can out there, and this guy here will. Look, you're no longer the Khwarezmian Empire, it's more like Arabians. That's what we're gonna do. Turn you into into, into Oman. Okay, so let's... Fucking hell, this is trash. I'm gonna just leave bare minimum forces behind here. Continuing tomorrow, mighty Sultan. Yeah, we need those taxes. What's this, bakehouse? Yeah, okay, let's get baked. We got, we got to start making some cash. My eye. So anyway, I was looking, looking at this. We're gonna look for agents that, like, like this guy here, like, he's, we're paying him upkeep. We, every coin is gonna matter. What the fuck are you doing out here? Get, get back in here. You're not gonna find any allies in Europe. Loads of spies. Just, just die. Just fucking kill them somehow. God, I wish I had this kind of luck when I actually wanted to keep them. From the shadows shall be watching. My eyes are yours. So how how much more powerful is the Mongols compared to us? Yeah. To be expected. Yeah, so I think the way to go about this at this point here is, like, you're not going to be able to take on the Mongols directly. In fact, the bigger they get, the easier it's going to become to take them back. 
Um, take the territory back. We come over here and try and sneak our way in and actually take on the Fatimids. That's a manageable goal, because the, the Mongols will just keep getting reinforcements anyway. They're actually a real fucking bitch to take on in the um, in Stainless Steel 6.4. You, you're actually better off just sort Tell of delaying them somehow. That's why I used forts. Because you, you can't beat them head on. You just can't. It doesn't matter how fucking good you are. It's kind of good that the Fatimids are, are a little bit on the large. Oh. Uh. The hell? How did we just die? He gave me, he gave me one turn, one turn to save it. He did say assassins fucked him. I've, I've not even used to seeing that stuff. Okay, all right. Uh, there's, there must be assassins in here. He did, he did say in the email that Mongol steamrolled him with assassins. Okay. We'll bypass the assassins by staying out in the boat. They can't get us there. Taking your men ashore, blessed Sultan. Man, they must have assassinated both of them at the same time. Holy fuck holes. My eyes are yours. We'll take this and then I might actually head over here. Man. As you will. No fucking kidding. Salam alaikum. This my eyes are yours. We're going to survive this intern. Holy mother of duck fuck. That must have been assassin. Yeah, he did say he was just getting fucked by assassins. <laughs> well, there we go. We managed to save him one turn from defeat. It's <laughs> one down. Now I'm great As my sultan wills. We shall board at taking your men ashore, blessed sultan. As okay, what do we got here? We will engage them honorably. Yeah, we don't really have a choice. We have to take all this shit. We, we've got to take this city. We shall all find a way to an honorable victory. I think the audio is a bit loud. Let's drop it down a bit. But like, there's not much I can do to protect him from from assassins apart from put spies in him. But, but luckily, we're, we're catching up to the spies now. They'll they'll help a little bit, and then we're at the mercy of um. God damn it! We're at the mercy. Oh, fucking hell! Sound options. We're at the mercy of luck. But yeah, I do understand how annoying the Mongol assassins are. They are very high tier and just. They're just a real fucking pair of assholes. Oh man, I can't believe this is basically all that's left of the Khwarezmian Empire. Talk. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is what I want you to send me. This kind of shit. This is fucked. Cavalry. Okay, uh, we'll try and go for that. I'll go around them here. I think the general's there. I think I can just see him. The enemy general flees like an old woman. Attack and break the will of his men. A brave men. Have captured the enemy general. He pretends to be a lion, but he seems more an ostrich. Let him sit and watch how true lions fight. 
Take care of those Tokemons. They're the only things that I'm really concerned about. Half the enemy force remains. We must pray they lose their will to fight. We have to keep spies at many, many, as many spies as possible on him at all times. So here I was trying to get my spies killed. Now I'm like, get the spies over here now, because they need he needs fucking protection. So yeah, just in case you didn't know, if you add a, attach a spy to your army, uh, or, you know, to your general, it'll massively reduce the chances of, um, of assassins succeeding. I mean by, like, where like, it might have been 95%, might drag it down to 20%. You put it in a second spy, it'll go down to 5%. Obviously depending on the quality of the, uh, the assassin and the, the spies, determines, um, how well they're gonna do. to Allah. You have left our enemy lost. They run like children. Scour them from the field. The enemy must curse the day they... Okay, so that went a lot better than I expected. I have to wonder what the battle difficulty was on this, though. No way for me to check right now. No, don't be so hasty, Sadi. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Long live the warriors of Islam! I shouldn't need to do this. I think there's a chance that we can do a force draw out here. If I attack him, he should withdraw. Man, I kind of wish I got some mercenaries. The infidel's army will not survive. Long live the warriors of Islam! These lands hide our force. We move. I'm trying to think how to go about it. My eyes. Naam, Sultan. Yala, my Sultan wishes you dead. We won't be given another general. How may I serve? I wonder if I should just give up on that. I definitely don't want to funnel any more funds into it. What is the Sultan's will? And if we if we go too far over here, we're just going to reach the Mongol steamroll train. We got to avoid that shit. Let somebody else deal with that crap now. Naam, Sultan. Man, hemorrhaging cash. Also, guys, if you're going to send me SS6.4 um, save files, make sure you fucking tell me what sub mods you put on, because otherwise I have to guess. Okay, don't just send me SS6.4 whatever, because there's lots of different sub mod options. you got to fucking tell me. Uh, okay, just take the two generals. Inshallah, we will smite this force. All right, so we need to beat them, but not annihilate them. So we, we absolutely need to like horse sandwich the, the motherfuckers, break them, release them. Or better still, don't actually kill too many of them that you don't have to release, because we're going to want some dread if we can. So like I said, I'm not going to win this campaign for the guy. I am just going to get him out of the shit. I'm going to do my best to make sure that those assassins do not kill our generals, and I'm going to give him as much territory as I can within the space of one episode. And then he can try again. But this is this is exactly what I was asking for, guys. Where you are, you know, send me the save file when you're when you're dead, basically, sort of thing. And I'll, I'll say, I'll give you, I'll give you a second chance. I'm gonna win the campaign for you. That's your job. But I'll give you a second chance. The enemy flees before us like a herd of goats. Drive them from the battle. Victory is ours. A victory. Yes, yes. Long live the war. How may I serve, Sultan? 
orders. Inshallah, we will smite the orders. How may I serve, Sultan? The oh shit, I didn't mean to send them in. It's fine, it doesn't what matter. Is the, Sultan's will? the infidel's army will not survive. We dance with death this day, my men. But... Oh my goodness. Yeah, we, we, we must have spies attached to us at all times. Absolutely must. We are so close to death's door, I didn't realize it was that close. I'll get you out. I'll get you out, don't worry. If it's medieval too, I'll get you out. This isn't that fucked. I mean, it is, but it isn't at the same time. So I'd like to use the archers to come over here and specifically get rid of the Afghan javelin men because even if they get just one volley on you, oh, you guys get easily get rid of him. Even if they get one volley, it can do so much damage to a general's bodyguard, potentially even kill the general. And since this is all we've got left, I'll fucking protect us. I need every bit of help we can get. Oh god, this is beyond Allah's power. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need fucking Superman, Batman, Iron Man, Shazam, come and help me, please. Praise me to Our enemy flees before us like a herd of goats. Drive them from the battle. Fucking Thanos, Thanos, save me. <laughs> Do your finger snap. Get rid of half the Mongols. Doesn't matter if half of our men die. Half of zero is still zero. <laughs> okay, come on. N enough tricks. Let's get on with this. At least we're going to have a successful draw out here. Okay, now while they're busy with that, no, they're not, not buying it too much. Better my guys here take a shot of javelins than, than the generals. Yep, they missed their chance there. That's all we needed them to do, just not, not take Hey, come on, I'm from the battle. Don't let them get away. Alright, good. That should be 85%. Victory is ours. A victory both righteous and well. Alright. That's one settlement. No. Crushing victory, my Sultan. Infidels to kill, Sultan. Yes, Sultan. Your orders. How may I serve, Sultan? Are we okay financially? No. Okay. So, you come over here. Same with you. Protect them. How much do you cost in upkeep? More than I would like, but you know we got this guy here on the coast, and I really need my spies to come and protect us. Is there anyone else nearby? Boarding now. I serve the faith. As the Sultan wills. There must my eyes are yours. Leaving you to the Sultan's will. Nothing to see there, Sultan. Like this settlement here is not really very Waters. valuable. Even if they do not deserve it, I will offer It's possible if we win this battle here we'd get a new general. I don't know if we should though. We gotta just be a. Oh. Okay. Like, this army here is costing a damn fortune. So, this is where all of his money is going. Don't worry about them. Just go for the Mongols here. I don't know what's there. 
So if there's a lot of troops there, well then just disband it and just forget about this here. Um, I just wonder if I if I attack him, will he? What's he got again? Despite being an infidel, I respect you in battle. All right, why don't we send a scout to go and have a little little looky looky? All right, is there anyone here in bad shape? Too many mercenaries here. Remove, I'm thinking. Remove, Sultan. All right, possibility Yala. for a, for a draw out. How may I serve, Sultan? Sultan. All right, I'm gonna need all my troops. Wait, how many? How much cap do we have? We got one, two, one we got two. Uh, how one, may I two, serve, Sultan? three. Yes. Four, five. Yala, my sultan wishes you dead. A six, a six cavalry. All right. I could use a general for this. So, what we'll do here is try to get the general as a cavalry, like to have the movement of the cavalry. Even if they do not deserve it, detach him. Alright, that, that's all we really need. I just want him out of the way. That, that's all Because now the infantry can at least come over here. Because I, I wanted one of the infantry to come over here and besiege this to try to draw out. Okay. Sultan. Well, we don't know what's here yet. We know that you're going to be a little bit low on movement, so why don't we send you to come over here and just have us a little looky looky. What is it? Shit. He didn't. If he fell back there, it would have been better. What was it anyway? Oh, they're not going to fucking break. How may I serve, Sultan? Like I said, it might be better just to disband this and just not have to deal with this shit out here. Because this is where all of his money is going. And basically just starting a whole new country from scratch. And just fucking leave the Mongols alone. Just whatever, just leave them alone. Let them just try to get as far west as possible. Or, or, as they're heading west... We hit them in the direct east, like over here, but, you know, it's not that. Like, there's not much sitting there. My eye, the Sultan's will. Orders, mighty Sultan. My eye is on. Let me just see. Leaving the ship. Naam, great Sultan. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's not a bad idea. Corsair. Any chance we could get, like, another one of... Uh, we, we could have got one of these ships, but... Like, trying to get them to break this is going to be really hard. Orders. Like, they'll fight to the fucking death. Orders, my king. Yala, how may I I'll just do the best I can. We will this poor Sultan. So the plan here is Scorched Earth, just to get a little bit of money, and then probably just disband this, all these forces out here. Where'd they go? Oh, they're up there. Even just one captive. Right, I don't. I think these guys here will fight to the death. I know they don't have a general attached to them or anything, but still, the Mongols just. <laughs> still gonna be up. like. I don't think I'm gonna put him in like an amazing position where the Mongols are like defeated. Oh, hang on, hang on. You got Great victories are One captive, that's all we needed. Come, let us drink. Yes, long live the warriors of Islam. Orders. How may I serve, Sultan? Ah, oh, that's going to be tough to get to him. Orders. So, what's in here? The army will not survive, Sultan. Orders. Inshallah, we will smite this poor Sultan. Let me just see what else I can get Sultan. to him. 
Oh, I'd say we're at slim fucking pickings, that's for sure. How may I serve, Sultan? Can't get this guy there. Sultan. Yes. I can get this guy here. We what Order. else? Sultan. Yep, I can get him there. As you win. How may I serve, Sultan? No, oh, I was just thinking, do we have an emissary? No. Sultan. How may I serve, Sultan? Sultan. Orders. Sultan. We shall end this day in triumph. I'll just have to do the best I can, but like I said, this, this situation up here... It's fucked. It's fucked. This army is costing us way too much. There's no way we'll be able to get we'll get ruffle stomped by either the Turks or the Mongols. Let them fight amongst themselves. All right, you guys just go finish off. Where is he? Yeah, try wipe him out before the others get here. Brave men have captured the enemy general. He pretends to be a lion, but he seems more an ostrich. Let him sit and watch how true <coughs> lions fight. All right. Man, no kidding. All right. No, not this weather. Oh, I hate this weather. All right. My biggest problem out here now are the. Oh, the those guys are going to be a pain. Hang on, get back. You chase after them. You should just shoot these these archers. There's an help that I can't see very well. Our four fights with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. Good, it did quite a lot of damage to the Kabutu archers or whatever they're called. Yeah, your job is to take out the enemy general. You come over here, charge into those new carry cavalry. Uh, where did those other things go? Oh, there they are. You take those infantry out. So yeah, it looks like we've won the battle, but we just need to make sure we kill him. Did you finish? Yeah, you finished them off, that's good. Luckily the Armenian cavalry are quite fast, so we should be able to dodge. Dodge his heavy cap there. Alright, they're dead. Oh shit, he's wavering. Alright. Our enemy flees before us like a herd of goats. Drive them from if the you don't capture him, we don't win. We got him. Okay, good. Victory is ours. Victory both right and what I mean by win is we don't take the city. That's what we need. Do we get another general for this? Let's find out. Definitely execute them. No, do not do this. Don't leave the warrior. How may I serve, Sultan? The infidels army will not. Sultan. Orders. How may I serve, Sultan? The only thing I could hope Sultan. is, fingers crossed, that they How may I serve, Sultan? that they Remove go somewhere the else. Once I capture you, your title will mean nothing, infidel. Okay, well we've got a little bit of money here now, so what we could do with that is hire some mercenaries. What have they got? <sighs> Orders, mighty Sultan. 
Still just wondering what I should do about this. We, we could just demolish everything here. Scorched Earth policy. Just wait for them to take it. Because the thing is, a lot of these units are costing us quite a bit. And this is a hopeless situation here. I can't pull... Like, mate... The thing is, if, if I, I've got a choice between either saving this or saving this. And this here is far more doable just due to the, the presence of enemies not... Oh, hang on. Just had a thought. Alright, well look, we'll see what happens if they... If they attack us, so be... Actually, why don't we increase taxes here as well? No, don't do that. Just end up with our army dead. Hopefully they just bugger off somewhere else. Stay here for the turn. This is also costing us a bit of money. But I'm thinking we'll head over here to Shiraz and take the fight to the fucking Mongols. How does that sound? Of course, if we get caught, we're dead. But, uh... We'll see how we go. Did one of my guys die, or did their assassin die? We didn't, we didn't lose the campaign, so we at the very most lost one person. I did put both spies in there, though. It should have massively reduced their chances. Did they siege the city? Come on, can we have a look? Yeah, they did. As they just disband them. Uh, you could try a fight, and they're not going to sit there forever. Oh, God, you're no kidding. They killed your heir. Oh, my God. No kidding. You need to marry a daughter. You need to have... You can't... Holy shit. A thousand curses upon you. This is old. Orders, mighty Sultan. Inshallah. Our infidels to kill Sultan. At least they don't have much here. Oh god, I don't have much either. Alright, leave, yes. leave whatever we can behind. Infidels to kill, Sultan. Sultan. Definitely take the spies with us. And let's hope we've dodged the assassins, at least for the time being. So there's mercenaries here that we can hire, but... Are they artillery? No, they're just guns. The upkeep on cost... Mm, I won't be able to afford that. I need you to check ahead. I need to know where the enemies are at all times. I need to know what's coming for us. This is all we've got left. Really, this is all we've got left. Okay, well, we can see that there's... A Decent portion of There's no one in between these two territories. Yes. How may I serve, Sultan? Alright. I think I'll disband you now. Be and just get a Dow here. It'll be a lot cheaper. Yeah, a lot cheaper in upkeep. I don't know if we should even bother with this. But whatever. So, they'll be making their attack next turn. I'll do my best to try and defend that. I have no delusions that we're probably going to get wrecked, but I'll, like I said, I will just do my best. And even with two spies in the city, they still managed to assassinate a family member. That's... Oof. That being said, once they die of old age, they're not really going to hire any new ones that are going to be any good. 
And also, another thing that we can do is try to get our king as high ranked as... Oh, man, isn't he like 45 years old? 48. Do we lose a spy? Man, this this campaign is wrecked with with uh with tragedy. We had to get away from that. Just had to get away. Naam, great Sultan. Our enemies will suffer. My eyes are closed. Alright, I can't risk the spies that I've got. For fifty percent chance. We'll just have to lay siege and just pray. Pray to Superman that they're not fucking coming this way. My eyes are yours. Do we have any other spies out here that I could possibly use? So I don't know what they're doing here, starving us out, whatever. We're actually making a tiny little bit of profit. Anyway. To kill, Sultan. They haven't recruited anything else here. We're trying trying to get to the try and get back to like our capitals or whatever. Yes. This here is a yeah, okay, let's there take it. No mercy for these infidels. Sieging the walls, mighty Sultan. Alright, so um, take this place for you, mighty Sultan. The Hashashi mercenaries. Um, let me just see what do they got in here? That's their faction leader as well. Good to kill the kill the king. Afghan javelin men, I do like them. I mean, they 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 aren't very good. So financially, not strong position, but you know, what are we gonna do? Oh, it sucked that our heir died, because, like, I think. So that was him there, I think. No, 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 it wasn't. Assassinated, 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 assassinated. Oh my god, you're not kidding. So we've got daughters here, right? And oh they they don't come for in age for ages. We are stuck with one family member. Oh, I should have saved scum to go go back to get the uh get the uh air back. It's too late now. Well so Got to wait like six turns until one comes of age, so he needs to survive that long. He's not likely to die of old age between now and then. Basically, you don't don't use conventional tactics against the Mongols. Just like hit and runs, like hit their undefended settlements, keep the spies around. You know, look for where they're not defending. They tend to blob up their forces into big blobs, and they tend to want to push west. See, like there's nothing out here. It's all undefended. It's good for us to take back. My eyes. Our but if that, that's why we gotta keep the spies out here because look, this guy's. Some of these guys are like, oh yeah, let's let's stop this fucking Khwarezmi and shit. Hey, they, look, they gave up on it. How about that? I guess they saw. I don't know. Your title will mean nothing, infidel. I say we hold on to this just so that, if for no other reason, just to. Keep them up busy up here. That's that's it. I will not waste words. My eyes are yours. So not too concerned about this, but that is a little bit of a problem. We're gonna have to fill up our ranks with mercenaries. Yes, Sultan. Your enemies shall fall swiftly. Swiftly or slowly. I care not. Just keep but yeah, a little bit of a tip as well. If you're getting assassinated lots, put your men on a boat and go and hide because they can't get you while you're on the boat. Man, or, you know, spies are supposed to help, but goddamn, they did. Who knows how many spies they had, uh, assassins they had there anyway. 
Right. If we lose him, we lose the campaign, so we need to be very careful. So where is he? He's on the walls there, that's fine. That's why I set him to go around the other side. Ram is in place. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. I don't think he'll come and chase us. I think what we'll need to do with this, because we really want to try and make sure that we take minimal casualties. This is all I've got left, really. Um, is to kill this guy here and then just put troops in the town square and have him surrender. Battering Ram has done its work, and now is the time to fight. Allah is glorious. We have taken the walls. It is time we captured this place. Because I really need to take minimal casualties, and those are very strong melee units. We need to shoot them. It's going to be difficult to shoot them while they're up on the walls, though. Put this up here, so I'm going to change. have reached the walls. Brave lions strike these curs who hide behind them. Okay, I'm going to try something. I'm confident that my general can beat those units here. As long as I just keep an eye on him personally, he doesn't get killed. What we're going to do is put him behind here and they should come off the, battle, um, the battlements. Okay, get down over here, both of you. I need to get over here. Okay, he doesn't want to do that. No, 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 don't shoot, don't bother. Okay, um, hang on. You come over here, open the gate. Now we just send these two into the uh, the town square, go and capture the, the town. Hopefully we do this with, essentially without killing any of them. Of course I'll take one or two casualties. But that being said as well, the they'll do alright against this, not great. We should walk them. You come over here as well. Okay, hang on, the, the guy's coming down. Let's deal with him first. Who we got over here? You. Like I said, I'm confident he can win. 
100% confident, just reasonably. Just make sure he doesn't get into the fight. He's alright. Four fights with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. Yeah, you keep yourself protected. Shit, where is he? Get out. Okay, no, he's safe. Uh, come on, don't get into the fight. He's not bloody or anything, so he's okay. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. What's going on here? Nothing, okay. Definitely do not fire at will. Okay, now you just sneak in over here. But like I said before, it's okay if they do fight him. It'd just be preferable if we, you know, don't lose any more men. I'm gonna get any closer than that. He'd have four times as many men, so we need to have 200. Maybe I need more than that. Surprised the ticking uh, clock hasn't started yet. Our men have go. taken control of the city! Right. Just sit there, and we don't take too many casualties. Victories are like Yeah, not the, not the uh, most interesting way to win a battle, but certainly saved us a lot of men. Mongolian Khan can get Such fucked. Okay. We have cut down the infidels defenders. And now we have a decent mon amount of money from which to do stuff with. Yeah, I'm gonna need more spies. Another thing that we could do, potentially, is uh, if they could offer to be, if we could offer to be their vassal, nah, they, they'll never accept it. We can't, we can't offer that either, they have to ask for it. Nick stops over here. But I need a, a spy network large enough to be able to see what's going on out here. But it's pretty good so far, we went from two settlements and got to five, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, things are not good by any means, things are not good at all. He needs to live long enough for these two girls to come of age because the the men in his line gone all gone apart from him there's no one left one one family member left that's it they need to marry immediately and start producing adoptees that's it don't worry about children fuck there's not enough time for that just nobles that are in the area who cares about the dynasty keep keep the country alive really getting reinforcements from here is a stupid idea because there's shit reinforcements. 
Anyway, the, the Seljuks are going to be busy dealing with the Mongols, hopefully. I wonder what I will cut from you first, infidel. I mean, really, disbanding these troops here probably would be a, a good idea. Oh, hang on. Send a scout to go and have a look. Okay, it's like not the ideal situation because I'm sure those guys aren't that far away, but fuck it, you know, you've you're on death's door. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll take it. Maybe. They besiege the settlement, just destroy it all completely. We, we, this is all just fuck around stuff. I don't usually like to employ those kind of tactics, scorched earth, but we are in, we are in dire problems here. Financially, things are getting better though. And what can we build here? A lot of stuff. All right, what about mines? I need cash. Yeah, there's a little bit from that. Public order should be okay, although mostly pagan now. So we should probably build a small masjid. Increase the taxes for the time being. Alright, leave behind one of them and we gotta head over to the next settlement. And before we go there though, No guts, no glory. I can't see what's over there, but I'm assuming nothing. There shall be no mercy for these infidels. Just a general. That's fine. We can deal with that. Yes. Sultan. Hmm. Our enemies will suffer. As you will. Splitting the army. Yes, Sultan. Your enemies shall fall swiftly. If he sallies out to attack us, these Turkoman cavalry will rip him to shreds. It stops him from recruiting anything. Wait, did I make any siege? Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. So we'll be able to assault that next turn. Need to know what's going on in, in Iran. Okay, and we still got a bit of money left over. That's great. You know, it'd be good if there was some place where we could actually hire some decent troops. So I'll, I'll hire another spy out here. I don't don't even bother building here because I just don't think we're going to hold it. What's no? No one did anything. Please. Ruined campaign. Come on. The AI is not that good. Yeah, that's fine. So, just have to hope he doesn't die of old age. Technically, in this 70 is like the old age, so they sh they, he just needs to live like four or five more years. I can't remember how old they need to be. Yep, no one came to Tbilisi either, so... And that'll be... If we could get a general in here, right? We could build forts along here to just slow down the rate of death. Anyway, you guys need it over here. Yes, Sultan. Your enemies shall fall sweet. The infidels do not deserve life. From the ashes will arise a new Khwarezmian Empire. One that will undoubtedly have to deal with the Timurids as well. <laughs> Alright, 
but um, this is why you gotta head west. Head west. Just leave the Mongols alone. You know, if it's vanilla, Mongols aren't really that big of a deal. But in stainless steel, it's they, they dial it up to 100,000 on that. Uh, it's, we just need to get in there. And we'll just do exactly what we did in the previous battle. Just put troops on the border. Oh god, it's going to be tight. No. No, no, no. I got a better idea. We put troops up on the wall here and shoot them. These guys are ideal for that. Our ladders have reached the walls. May our brave lions strike these curs who hide behind uh, them. Psh, yeah, just, just come back here. I wish I'd actually gotten them to open the gates. It would have been a lot faster. Right, I'll get them to open the gate. Allah is glorious. We have taken the walls. It is time we captured this place. Yeah. Like, if I handed this back to him now and just gave him some basic instructions, like, hey, you know. Persia's yours for, the, yours for the taking. Uh, Tbilisi's yours. Your campaign is not, you know, guaranteed victory, but you'll survive a few more turns now. I, what I really want to do is try and get him to survive long. Just I'll play long enough to have uh, my daughters married. We we got to get some more family members. That's what lost him the campaign. Because we've dodged the assassins now, they're uh, we they bit our dust back in Arabia, and they're too old now to really catch up to us. Any new assassins that they hire are just not likely to really do much. And anyway, the Mong the main Mongol force is now in the west, so we'll just retake the east, and that way the Mongols will ma maintain a sort of a migratory status as they move further west. And just let them let them pillage burn in the west we'll take the east back actually the bigger they get in the west the better because they have big big empires tend to leave these settlements undefended all the time just like what we're seeing here like this is the second one that we've taken back from the mongols with just no defenses Now the only thing he could possibly do to hurt us is actually stand near the tower here. Of course it does, doesn't help us that we're exhausted, but they're both relatively eager, so we should be okay. He's just gonna sit there. Cool. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Cut off the serpent's head. The enemy general is slain. Let's see how these snakes fight without their head. Victory is ours. A victory both righteous and... Crushing victory, my Sultan. I swore they would regret resisting us, Sultan. And they do. We just need someone to stay here and maintain public order. We need to keep moving. Infidels to kill, Sultan! Let me just make sure that public order will maintain. Yeah. Okay. That's worth five. Our enemies will suffer. Orders. They're pretty close to the capital as well, so moving the capital is not really going to help. I mean, that'll... 
I think I got fear for a little while. Shit. We can't we can't sit around here doing nothing. We gotta keep moving. My eyes are at once. The Sultan's will. The settlement is not well defended. They do have plague here though, so we kind of wanna wait until that's over with. I really don't want to wait here long term. How may I serve? We march. Joining the ranks. Because we could always just lay siege and just have it sit there until um. My eyes are yeah, keep an eye on these armies out here. I want to know what they're up to. As you will. They generally stick to, uh, stick to the road. And also with the watchtowers. We'll get an idea of what's going on. Actually, 70% is fine. I need the cash. How are we going for cash anyway? Get him 4,000 to turn income. I mean, it's not bad income coming from these places. We just gotta, you know, build up our forces and then fucking wall off like crazy. Build the Great Wall of Persia and be like, Mongols, fuck off! Okay? Go away. Don't come back. You can go west. Alright. Forgive and forget. Fucking kill you later. Uh, let's see here. Like I said, we, we can't really just leave this. Because that's gonna yeah, it's gonna go down five every turn. Like I'm just gonna have to leave behind one of these guys. It's gonna have to. Our enemies will suffer. Because we gotta keep moving. Can we hire some mercenaries to fill up our ranks? If as needed. Um, this settlement here could be attacked at any moment, so building up the town guard here might be a good idea so we can get somewhat better troops to defend it. As for like improving its economy, yeah, there's, there's no point if we can't defend it. Uh, we've also got this to do as well. How may I serve, Sultan? Inshallah, we will smite this poor Sultan. We have chosen the time and place. Now let us so what I'd like to do with these guys is actually try and get them to go around the northern side of Persia to eventually meet up with the king. But there's not going to be enough time for that. Look, if I take this settlement here, I can I can hand this back to um, back to the guy, and with um, with full confidence say, hey, look, you're not about to lose the campaign. The assassins are gone for the time being. You do you still have a hard task ahead of you, but. You can, you can, this game is not over, not over. Just give them a couple of pointers and be like, you know, just hang tough, hang tough. You got, you got a hard road ahead. But you'll be okay. Just like in real life, the Quesmian Empire will survive. <laughs> is it? Historically inaccurate, if I can... <laughs> Alright, um... Let's see, what other ways are there into the city? There's another way up here. They're all dogpiled there. Where the rest of the... Oh, no, no, they're all up here. Are those Fari cavalry? Yeah, I think so. Oh, those are always a pain to deal with. I mean, winning this battle is not going to be a problem. It's just a matter of how many casualties we're willing to... How many men are we willing to sacrifice? What's up here? Afghan javelin men, okay. These guys here have long range missiles, so they might be best to try and take out the Fari cavalry. I'll get them up on the walls over here. Whilst essentially threatening to attack the walls here to stop those Afghan javelin men from moving. 
So they got three. Oh, it looks like they got. Oh, those are Sepahi. I think. And Turka something. Turka mans or Turka persons. The battering ram is in place. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. Wasn't the Khorasmian Empire also Turkish? But yeah, Turkish is such a vague well, term, like, Turks are like, Ah, oh, Attila the Hun, he's a Turk. This guy's a Turk. Genghis Khan, he's a Turk. Hey, stop, 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 stop. Then, then take it. Oh, where, where are they going? The battering ram has done its work. Now is the time to fight. Our ladders have reached the walls. May our brave lions strike these curs who hide behind them. I think they've got long range archers, don't they? Yeah, okay. It's important that we take the walls in this battle. Because they Horses can't fight on walls. Our ladders have reached the walls. They're shooting at us. May our brave lions strike these the fiery cavalry. Who hide behind them. Right, you should be able to... Shit. No, 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 no. Yeah, get up on there. But you... Shoot those fiery cavalry. Okay, I have an idea. You come over here, and I'll send... Send the Armenian cavalry. To go kill the fiery cavalry. Allah is glorious. We have taken the walls. It is time we Because we're losing Saracen and archers and we need them. Okay, stop shooting. Because they're just they're not doing very much damage. Victory Gotta make sure you kill the wall. So if they I route, make sure you've got them. See this yep, like that. Heart. What's this one here? commands yeah victory is well within our grasp in time our foe will surely see this and lose heart all right good So Sipahi Lancers, no big concern. Afghan Javelin Men shouldn't be that much of a concern unless they come up on the walls to fight. So maybe we should f uh, shoot the Afghan Javelin Men first. Problem is as well that our guys are quite tired and exhausted. But I can't be bothered to have them walk. They, they get tired while shooting anyway. Shit. They run out of ammo eventually. I don't even think we're doing anything there. Come on. Okay, get these Armenians out of here. 
If you stop shooting, that tends to get them to stop chasing after us. Shit. Go out this way. You better get up on the wall real quick, or it's gonna die. Spearmen, they should be able to handle them. Oh shit! Forgot they were here. Damn it! I'm trying to get him out of there. I would have really preferred to have shot them. But oh well, we got him. The enemy's general lies dead. Now his men can sense their doom upon them. All right, all we're gonna do is finish off these guys here. I don't think they'll they'll try and skirmish with us now. Oh, maybe they will. But their general is dead, so. If they come any closer, they'll uh, they'll just break. Yeah, we're beating them. Okay, good. So I do expect there to be a Turkish counterattack, but I'm surprised that this army has survived this long, considering it was under siege by the Mongols. This is a bloody miracle. The Mongols must have just found something else to kill, probably the Turks. Long live the warriors of Islam! Allah, the most merciful, has delivered us. Victory! So this is under siege, so we might want to steer clear of that. Captain Farouk. Okay, at least from here, we can pick up some better units. How are we going financially? Yeah, doing okay. I mean, we don't make much money from here. You know, these aren't too expensive, so that's okay. You know, get get a spy. Hire that one next time. My eyes are yours. Seems like to if this guy here could just go away, Tabriz should be fine to go and hit. Yes. Are we good? I think we're good. Let's move on. I wonder if the Mongols have fed north. They seem tempted to do that as well. Into Kumania. That was that guy there. Okay, the plague there is over. That's good. Now, the public order here hasn't sorted. Wait, hostilities cease. Please don't be between Turks and... Yeah, good. Our survival depends on their conflict. I will not waste words on you, infidel. Right, so I want to know what's going on over here. Cool. 
It's like there is over. But we need to know what's up ahead. Uh, see, this is this is a problem. This is why we need the spies to to have a look up ahead. If we attack this, that is the end of us. Seventy percent. That's okay. Seventy percent is okay here. We're gonna have to drop it a little bit, I think, because the uh, the the fear is going away. So what do we need now? That's good for a little bit of public order. Get rid of all the corruption there. How much does that cost? Yeah, we're good for the money. Still, better to have it under control first. And money-wise, we're actually not too bad. Surprisingly. So let's compare ourselves now to the Mongols. A little, this is what happens when I take over. It's all right. So militarily, they're still skyrocketing because they're just they're going to keep getting reinforcements constantly. This is why when I played the Quasmians, it was so important that we created just a wall of forts out here, just to stop them from progressing. And that way they, they fed north, and that just wasn't... You know, they didn't actually even do a good job heading north. So where are we going to go with them instead? Well, another spy here might help us make a decision. Also not very well defended. This, this is a situation where we need to know what they're going to do. Are they going to head down here? Our best chance to defend against them would be here. Infidels to kill, Sultan. Are they going to bypass us? Head over to the Turks, or what? Because we need to play a war of attrition with these motherfuckers. Alright, I'm going to head them back over will. here. Keep an eye on Yana, them, if they continue to push down here. We either need to have a large enough force here that we can defend against it, which at this stage here, this is all trash. I will not waste words on you, infidel. Which we could possibly defend, possibly, if you get super lucky. What about Basra? Um, not a good idea to hit Basra. This is this is where like a lot of Turks uh, and Mongols are coming through. Yeah, there's going to be a big battle here eventually. That's where the Turks, uh, the Mongols went there. Let them keep going. We'll just keep an eye on this, and then maybe I'll bring them down here. We'll, we'll see. I'm not going to invest in these regions because this is this is the easy place to defend. I'll deal with that. All right, moving on. So yeah, waiting for those Mongols to just go right past. Okay, some of them went past. The smaller army went by, but the other army seems to be coming over here to, to fight us. We should be able to handle it if we can get a little bit more recruits going. Or I hire the elephants. Those will make a big difference. You know, getting um, map information from Poland might not actually be a bad idea. Blockade the port of Basra. Uh, I got better things to do. What's the, the thing? Some military units. Yes, my master. Is there something I can do for you? I mean, why not? I must inform you. We cannot. You have uh, another proposal then? Your plan. Please continue with your suggestions. If you keep doing this, eventually they will accept it. I think. Your further good reason. Hmm. Please continue with your suggestions. Although I do Another keep giving them more money. Because every time we do this, we give them a generous offer and, and they reject it, increases relations. I Slightly. Please continue with your suggestions. I'm just going to waste my time a little bit though. Before we welcome your further good reason. Let me just start with. 
I'll just start with this. I don't need an alliance. Your plan seems balanced enough to me. Very well. Another course of wisdom to share. No. Don't worry about it then. We look forward to our next meeting. Should have just sent the emissary when I had the chance. Okay, so we know that one of their armies went down over here. Where'd he go? I will not waste words on you Was that him? I could have... Oh, shit. This is more than I thought. My Sultan wishes you dead. Yes. I will not waste words on you, infidel. Yala, my Sultan wishes you dead. Two, one army I can maybe deal with. Two armies, no. I will not waste words. And I really need like loads of spearmen. Peasants aren't really going to cut it. Peasants are just going to be good to like put in forts, which. Infidels to kill, Sultan. Which we do have money. We could. Could put a fort here. And he can still get back. It's only 500. That slows him down considerably. Yes. Yala, my sultan wishes I will not waste hmm. words on you, infidel. Infidels to kill, sultan. Put another one here, because he might very well just besiege this. Our grip here tightens, mighty sultan. How may I serve, sultan? Shit. Orders. <sighs> Those are an expensive garrison, but we're trying to buy time here. You can move over here, so we could possibly use you next. It depends on whether or not they siege this or not. Because you know we got we got money, we got money. That's okay. We got surprisingly amount of money. So it looks like they won the siege. I'm assuming that was against the. Oh no no no! The uh, the Turks lost that big time. Lost it. Oh, man, there's too many fucking Mongols out here. We gotta get out. What about Kumania? What if we head up north to Kumania? Well, how strong are they? Uh, Kuman Khanate. Not strong at all. Territorially, about as strong as us. Okay. Alright, we'll go and have a look up this way. We're not at war with them, but we're trying to find him a safe, trying to find these guys a safe haven. Because yeah, I don't expect to hold this. I mean, cumulatively, we're not making much cash here anyway. Maybe just get a few extra troops together. Before we head out, I need to know what's out here. If it's too well defended, then don't bother. You cannot stay there. Yala, my sultan wishes you dead. Orders. Yes. So come stand here now. Let me just check this again. Sultan. Here, and we'll build another fort. This is purely Let slow them down. The bite and hold Yala. now. Okay, then come back. Hang on, they could still potentially go around. We could create a wall of forts up to... We'd really need quite a few troops up this way. But why don't we bring them? Bring them to here. They'll be safe there. And even if we lose like one unit every turn, it's just about just maintaining as much as possible. So we can build up. Build up and strike back. Yep. 
But like I said, don't don't bother building here because we're just not. Just don't think I can hold it. Our troops, yes, but that's about it. All right, let's move on. Now we're reaching the point where stainless steel might crash. And I'm pretty happy to give this back to the guy and say it's not fucked. By, by no means is this campaign won. He's got a real hard task. All he has to do is just stay alive for, you know, keep the king alive for a couple more turns and then we'll, you'll be able to fill up your family members again. Um, and then just, you've got to play a war of attrition. Mongols burn themselves out. And you just sort of need to wait for that to happen. You know, if you're in this position here, just, you know, just fuck around with them as much as you can. Take take what's easy. And that's it. Give him intel to head up north with this army. Uh, well, let me just have a look at the Kumans again. Their military ranking. Militarily, I mean, they're considered three times stronger than us, but... It's three times stronger. I can deal with that. Where is the settlement up here? I think it is actually over there. I can't remember. It's such a long time since I played it. Yala, my sultan wishes you dead. Orders. How may I serve? I'd love to build some more forts along here, but. Your corpse loser. will be thrown to the dogs. He split Once his forces up and he revolted. I think that the latest Khan is not very I will not authoritative. On you, My eyes. you certainly can use this guy against them. They'll they'll probably want to attack it. Maybe. Probably won't actually. Infidels to kill, Sultan. That's that's like not too many. Our enemies will suffer. We could sneak through here. It's super dangerous, super fucking dangerous to go up through this way. Because we don't know what's there. And we're just like hitting into the heart of the Mongols. And also, this is where their reinforcements come out. Yes. Just keep pumping troops out there. Infidels to kill, Sultan. Yala, my Sultan wishes you dead. Yes. So what? Uh, defeating this out in the open Yala, field would be extremely difficult. You dead. Maybe not with elephants. I don't know. Then again, horse archers. Like if there was the elephant artillery, that would be good. But it's not. It's Infidels not that to kind. Kill, Sultan. We could use the elephants to actually get into Yazd. But once we're there, that's it, we're dead. Maybe not. Let me just check this. It's just a Murguin. Our enemies will suffer. Send them by themselves. The infidel's army will oh, not survive. It doesn't survive. do that in this game. Yes, Sultan. Oh, fuck, it feels like Rome Total War. <laughs> Alright, if you, you just stay there... The oh, God. I, I feel like I fucked up there. Kill, Sultan. Sultan. Oh, damn it. They'll probably attack you. You fight the battle manually and you just withdraw. And you'll probably withdraw back to here, which... Our enemies will suffer. Easy come, easy go, I guess. How are we going financially because of that? Not well. Damn it, I thought that would work. Wait, there is one other option, and that's to get a spy in there. Chances are real low. Unless we save scum it. Mm, I did hire some more spies out here, didn't I? Yeah, loads more. Alright, try that. Okay, 56% chance. Oh, fucking hell, aren't you a lucky, lucky little bitch.
Our spy has opened the gates. Oh, these are foot archers. Okay, good, yeah. They're, they're, if we get into melee with them, we'll easily kill them. Cowardly enemy have lost the walls. Send your troops to take the rest of the settlement. Let's take a berserk. Only half the enemy force remains. Our four fights with horns made of clay. We are Praise me to Allah. Great victories are like sweet nectar. Come. Now don't get me wrong, holding onto the settlement is going to be fucking impossible, but this is purely just to keep them distracted. Alright, with that, I think we'll end the episode here. I think this is where I'd like to give it back to the guy and let him sort it out from here. The campaign, like this, it's not in great shape, but it's in better shape than when he gave it to me. We had two settlements left, and I've brought him up to eight. I've quadrupled his amount of territory. He's got plenty of money. At least, at least he's not hemorrhaging money. He's got some money. Um, if he wants to run away with this guy, he can do that. If he wants to stand and fight, also he can do that. That's up to him. He's got two settlements up here to defend, and I've, I'll give him the ideas of just build walls of forts, because the Mongols don't handle that very well. And if he really wants to, and he doesn't want to deal with any of this, you could just fucking retreat straight back here. And at least he's got another settlement there, and you got a bunch of settlements over here. So I'll let him decide what he wants to do from here, and I will classify this campaign as barely not fucked. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe, and see you next time, fuckers.